Why, hello there. This is me again. In the last overclocking video, I showed you how to do a meager 2.8 gigahertz overclock. That's not going to be enough to do some video encoding or whatever you want to do. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a quick way to make it go from that 2.3 slash 2.8 all the way up to a 3. Now you could do this any way you want. All I did was I took the simple one and I moved every single one of them down and took out this P6. That's the easy way to do it. That's the way I did it. And then add the top one to the highest voltage, which in my case is 1.375. And add, oh, I, sorry. Okay. And have the FID of 29, DID of 1 frequency should end up to be 3000. And then add it to the highest it'll go. See, it can go up here, but it locks me down there because I'm using a laptop. If you're using a, okay, you can already see that when I click apply the temperature should go up quite a bit and this is using a really good cooler so if you're using a laptop I recommend you get the Cooler Master U3 I did an unboxing I'll add a annotation right there but as you can see it's getting up to almost up to 70 and once you start doing stuff other than just idle it'll get up to high 70s maybe even 80s so, if you're going to use this, I recommend that you watch your computer or get a nice cooler like I did, just so that your processor doesn't melt. Okay? So, all you do is you click apply, make sure that that's zero, that's zero, make sure it's on boost. Pretty much the same thing as the last one. If you haven't yet seen how, okay, you can see it's all, all at 2.8 instead of 2.3, but... If you haven't seen the other video, here's the annotation. You're going to want to see it, otherwise you have no clue how to do any of this. So just go to that annotation right there, and that's all. Click OK if you already know, and there you go. I'm going to do some load temps for you guys, so just stick around, and I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see us it's shown right here I'm doing some prime 95 testing and you can see it's jumping from high 60s to high 70s and after a while that should get into maybe even low 80s but I doubt it with the cooler all the way up so if you're gonna game with it on 3 gigahertz it's definitely gonna get up to the 90s and I would not recommend that because then your GPU is heating up and that's just heating up everything else and it just makes it a lot hotter so I wouldn't recommend gaming unless you want to it's not actually gonna help you if you have it up at 3 gigahertz the 2.8 is probably the most it's gonna help you but this is really good for video encoding it makes it like three times faster it's a lot nicer so that's my quick overview and don't forget to subscribe also wait I forgot here, another one if you haven't yet seen it. There you go. There is the other video, and that's also to subscribe because I wanted to add another annotation. So, that's all I gotta say. Bye.